Thank you, Abba Father. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Yes, Lord, I have nothing more than a hallelujah. All glory, honor, and praise to you, Jesus. Thank you for everything that you've done and continue to do through your word because you're continually watching over your word day and night and not a word of yours returns void but accomplishes everything that it has been sent forth for. Thank you, Jesus. Yesterday we studied how we are protected, whether it's night, whether it's day. An arrow is something that pierces or wounds us directly. It is, it is meant to target. It is like if you see bow and arrow, game okay there is a center target in the same way the devil wants to target us Thank you. hallelujah thank you jesus Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, my Jesus. Thank you, my Jesus. So this arrow is meant to directly attack us. And the devil, he is... Thank you, Jesus. Can you please tell me if you all can see the screen because it's showing for me paused. Can you all see the screen? I can see, yeah. Yes, you can. Okay, praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, my Jesus. Okay. So this arrow is meant to distract us, to disturb us, and the devil will diligently send an arrow or meticulously or, you know, deliberately try to aim at the spot which will cause the most damage. Have you seen the chips packet? There is a place on the top where they will write, tear here. Because that is the weakest part and it will easily come apart and you can open the packet. In the same way, the devil tries to see which is the weakest area or where is the area that we are struggling every day. Like for some people, the, basically what is the targeted area? The targeted area is where my mind has not yet been renewed by God's word. For example, we could still be losing temper, we could be offended easily by others, or we could be in fear, or we could be like having a rebe rebellious attitude all the time. Like when we are told something, we want to do exactly the opposite. Or it could be any other kind of thing where your mind has not been renewed. That is the only problem. The problem is the battlefield is the mind. And these arrows are diligently or meticulously or deliberately sent by the devil. See, first we have to understand it's a spiritual battle. So my weapons of warfare will also be spiritual. I cannot start fighting uh, physical with physical weapons a spiritual battle. It would simply be foolishness. And that's why many a times what happens is we get into arguments because we think arguments will resolve the problem. Now, that's a physical strategy for a spiritual battle which doesn't make sense. You have to first find out what is the root cause of that. Where is that area where you have allowed the enemy to give you a lie or to shoot that arrow? Thank you, Jesus. That's why the Bible says in Ephesians 6, 12, to have the shield of faith to extinguish, means to, 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 to totally destroy or to remove this uh, fiery darts and it just doesn't call them plain it calls them fiery darts that means he's trying to send them in such a way that it destroys the person completely now there are certain uh in instances we see in the bible okay certain i will not mention all but i will see uh, we will go through a few now if you see 
there was the woman with the issue of blood, right? So we can say like she had an arrow of affliction that no matter what she did to get healed, it wouldn't work. But the day she understood and heard about Jesus and she renewed her mind and she kept speaking and she took that first step of faith to move towards Jesus, the moment she even not even touched him, but just the uh, tip of his garment, okay? And that anointing which was upon him destroyed the yoke, destroyed that fiery dart which was in her life. And now you and I in the New Testament, we have a very good uh, antidote to every arrow that is being thrown our way. And that is the blood of the lamb and the word of our testimony. So we have to deliberately open our mouth and speak the blood of Jesus over ourselves, over our uh, health, over our family, over our soul thinking, over our body, over our everyday work, over the place where we are. We have to speak it. We have to confess it. We have to believe it. Then if you see another example of um, the different kind of uh, arrows that can be shot, okay? If you see ba Paul and Barnabas were go getting along very well. But there came a point, if you read the book of Acts chapter 15, you will see at one point they, they wanted... Uh, Barnabas wanted John Mark to accompany them but Paul didn't want and it kind of created a, a drift between them okay so it created a confusion and then a division so Paul went separately with si Silas Barnabas went separately with Mark and even we see the same thing happening between husbands and wives today between children and parents this confusion this division okay and it all starts with one small misunderstanding because the devil will give you a lie and then it can happen among church members because of different uh, thinking different philosophies different ideologies then if you see another example in the bible was um, arrow of where the character changed suddenly like if you see judas all along he was walking with jesus and then suddenly he got greedy he got into a lie that that money, extra money, could satisfy him, that he was even willing to betray the person whom he left everything for and was following, to make him the master, to make him the lord of his life. But there was somewhere the character got influenced with the lie, and now instead of walking in the way of the master, he started walking in another way. And, it, and the Psalms very nicely says, the arrows that fly by day, so these arrows can come suddenly, anytime. Even you will notice sometime you are in a good mood. And then all of a sudden, either there is a fear that has gripped you or suddenly you're very angry. And there'll be a very small memory of something of the past or something that you need to do now. And then suddenly you're going spiraling downward in your thought. So this arrow is very, very uh, subtle. Okay, that's why the, they say that the devil is like a roaring lion. He's not a lion, but like you won't know when he's coming to suddenly attack. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. And there are many other examples where we see suddenly the person has been attacked with something. Like if you see um, Joseph, you could, you could say that there was an arrow where there was uh, to destroy his destiny. God-given destiny that he had for him because there were so many accusations, so many things coming against him, put against him, false accusations. And if he had to ponder and meditate on this rather than on the dream that the Lord had given him, then he would have missed it. He would have totally missed it because ultimately, if you see in Genesis 50, 20, also he says, you meant it for evil, but my God turned it around for my good. Now, there are some of the reasons why these flying arrows can come uh, and attack us because the one of the reasons could be we are unshielded, we are unprotected and the only way we can be under the protection is we have been studying from day one of Psalms when we remain in the shelter, make a choice, choose to remain in the shadow of the Almighty by saying, by saying, by saying you are my refuge, you are my fortress, you are my God, in you I trust. So at all times we have to declare, because the word of God says, the kingdom of heaven is near you, it's near you, it's as close as your mouth, to open, declare, confess, believe in your heart, confess with your mouth. 
then it is also because of lukewarmness. We are, you know, very attracted to the things of the world and then we want to be spiritual, but at the same time, we like the carnality, we like the things. They might not necessarily be sin, but yet they take up a lot of our time. And then many a times we don't put on the full armor. Now, in the full armor, in order to understand, you have to start from Ephesians 1, where it first speaks about who you are in Christ. Because until and unless I don't know my identity, I cannot go on to put on the full armor. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. And then it could also be our ignorance. It could be our ignorance, our lack of knowledge, unbelief. It could be unforgiveness, the root of all bitterness. Then it could be malice. It could be strife. So there are many reasons because of which the arrow can be shot at us by the devil. Thank you, Jesus. So like I already explained in the beginning, one way is to cover yourself with the blood of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. And then be diligent in your studying because the more you remain, the, like we, we, we saw that when you walk in the spirit, you will not fulfill the desires of the flesh. It doesn't say you don't desire, it means you don't fulfill the desires of your flesh and then you can walk in the spirit because we don't have the ability to do it by ourselves. So we need to walk in the spirit. We need to submit to God. That submission teaches us how to resist, how to obey the instruction. And that resistance, when we resist whatever the attacks, whatever the arrows are, it is the devil who has to flee from us, not us who has to flee from the devil. Hallelujah. And we can do that when we maintain a healthy relationship with Christ. Now, what is a healthy relationship with Christ? Speaking once in a once in a day or when you are in a trouble or speaking only what you want, never listening to what the other party. No, a healthy relation is a two-way communication. I speak, I stop to listen, then I listen, then I speak, I respond. And that is the way we have to start building our relationship with the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. And above all, have no fellowship with the works of darkness. If you read the book of 2 Corinthians 6, 14 to 18, it says, don't be unequally yoked with unbelievers. For what fellowship has righteousness with unrighteousness? So, Every day, every day, we've been repeating this. Fellowship, friendships are very important. In a day, whom am I allowing to speak to me? And those seeds are getting planted. Thank you, Jesus. So today, as we declare, let us see where the devil has given us a lie and is throwing arrows after arrows at us. And now let us boldly say that I am not afraid of these arrows that fly by day because I am in the secret place of the Most High God. He is my refuge. He is my God. He is my fortress. And in Him only I trust. No arrow can overtake me. No arrow can destroy me. In fact, you are sitting in that spiritual heavenly place because Christ is seated there. You are in Christ. And you are the one who is shooting the arrow that is by opening your mouth confessing with your mouth, believing in your heart and you're shooting. Now, if you were supposing a king at a low level fighting from below the mountain and there was a king fighting above at the top, from the top of the mountain, who would have the advantage against whom? The king trying to shoot the arrow from down would be at a disadvantage because he's shooting the arrow against the gravitational force. So the rate at which the arrow would fly upward would be considerably low as compared to the king who's at the top of the mountain, when he shoots the arrow, even gravity is in favor of him and that arrow comes at a lightning fast speed and attacks the enemy down. In the same way, you are at a greater advantage because you're seated in the highest place, the heavenly place with Christ and you're shooting the arrow from that point. So the devil has no hold on you. Hallelujah. So let's all unmute our mics and uh, let's declare by faith. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Can you see the screen? Yes. Thank you, Jesus. Yes. I choose to dwell choose in the secret place, place, place of the most the high God. God. I choose to abide under the shadow of the Lord. 
Thank you, my Lord Jesus. You, my Lord Jesus, you have delivered me from the snare of the fowler, the noisome pestilence. Thank you, my Lord Jesus, you have delivered me from the snare of the fowler, the noisome pestilence. Thank you, my Lord Jesus, you have delivered me from the snare of the fowler, the noisome pestilence. Thank you, my Lord Jesus, you have delivered me from the snare of the fowler. Thank you, my Lord Jesus. Thank you, my Lord Jesus. I have chosen to make the most Thank you, my Lord Jesus. No evil Thank you, my Lord Jesus. My Lord Jesus. Given the angels charge of an angel to the church, keep me my way all my way. The angels hold me up on the hands and I don't want to shoot my back. I don't want to shoot my back. Thank you, my Lord Jesus. I walk walk on clouds. Mark is the power of the power of God. Everyone of them, one of them, one of them. I choose to set my love I to God. To set, set my love upon God. Thank you, my Lord. My Lord, my Lord Jesus, you have delivered, delivered me. You have set me on me on high because I know I your name. Your name. Thank you, my Lord Jesus. When I call to you, answer me. You are with 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 me. You Spirit of the Lord Jesus, it's the Spirit of the Lord Jesus is upon me. The God Himself has anointed me to preach the gospel to the poor. He has sent me to heal the broken heart, to the captives, 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 to the captives. Thank you, my Lord Jesus. Thank you, my Lord Jesus. Thank you, my Lord Jesus. I am not of the pain. Thank you, my Lord Jesus. Thank you, my Lord Jesus. I am not of the pain. Thank you, my Lord Jesus. Thank you, my Lord Jesus. I am not of the pain. Thank you, my Lord Jesus. Thank you, my Lord Jesus. I am not of the pain. Thank you, my Lord Jesus. 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 Thank you, my Lord Jesus.
thank you my lord jesus thank you my lord jesus not our lord not the blessed life of the christ thank you my lord jesus my lord jesus not the arrows that arrows that fly arrows that fly thank you my lord thank you my lord jesus i'm not afraid of the arrows that fly that fly by day thank you my lord jesus my lord jesus not not the arrows that fly arrows that fly by day thank you my lord jesus my lord jesus i am not afraid of the arrows that fly by day thank you my lord jesus thank you my lord jesus my lord jesus not afraid of the arrows that fly by day my lord jesus thank you my lord jesus i am not afraid of the arrows that fly by day thank you my lord jesus thank you my lord jesus i am not afraid of the arrows that fly by day thank you my lord jesus thank you my lord jesus not afraid of the arrows that fly by day thank you my lord jesus 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 thank you my l
Sasa 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 sasa
Let's all say the Psalms 23 together. The Lord is my shepherd. The Lord is my shepherd. I have everything I need. The Lord makes me lie down in my pastures. Me beside the still waters. Me beside the still waters. My Lord restores my soul. My Lord leads me in the paths of righteousness. The paths of righteousness. Though I walk through the valley of the shadow of the shadow, fear no evil. I fear no evil. No evil. Lord is my Lord is my Lord is rod and his staff. His rod and his staff comfort me. My Lord prepares a table before me. prepares a table before me. Presence of my enemies. Lord, Lord anoints my head with oil. My 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 Lord anoints my head with oil. I dwell in the house of the Lord of my Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, my Lord Jesus. I'm not a Lord Jesus. I'm not a Lord In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thank you, everybody. Jesus Thank loves you, you all. We love you all too. See you all tomorrow. Bye. Mm -hmm.